from Enemy, and I'm here at Reading Festival with Spring King. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome back to Reading Festival. Thank you very much. This is our third year. You know your way around now. Feel a bit like a homecoming. Yeah, I know all the roads backstage. <laughs> you know, I know where all the staff. You know, have their meals and all the rest of it. Yeah. Sorted. Absolutely it's sorted. It's pretty, it's pretty good. <laughs> so I guess the big thing for you guys, album out next week. Yes, six days. It's going to be out on Friday the 31st. How are you feeling? Excited? Nervous? All of the above? I'm very excited. And I think... I'm very nervous. So we just... <laughs> we, we Yeah, everything. It's, yeah, very excited. But the, the two singles, um, The Hum, it's had brilliant reception. So I guess I'm sure the fans are going to love it. Well, yeah, I, I think a lot, of what, a lot of what we've seen already on Twitter and Instagram and just general messaging is the fans are like, you know, really into what they've heard so far. The Hum, Us versus Them, Animal. And um, yeah, a new track came out um, yesterday called Paranoid as well. So it's four tracks already out. And I think a lot of people just want the album now. They're just ready to go. So it's pretty cool. When did you start writing it? Uh, we started writing kind of like last April-ish. I mean, it took a fair while, but because we were touring pretty much relentlessly for like a year and a half, and then we just took a little bit of time to sort of like lie down and, you know, get ourselves <laughs> back to fight and fit. And then, um, yeah, I think it probably took us like half or three quarters of a year to, from start to finish from the process of writing it to recording it, mixing and mastering. So, yeah, we really can't wait to get it out now. Um, it's been... It's been a really nice year and we can't wait to sort of get out and start playing it really. Yeah, I think next year is going to be really fun because obviously the album's coming out at the end of this year. Um, so next summer we're hopefully going to be playing all the festivals and going to new yeah. places we've never been to, you know. Like our dream is to kind of go to new countries like Japan, maybe play Fuji Rocks and um, go back to Australia and America and things like that. You know, oh. Touch wood. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so have you played any of the new ones live at all? And how's yeah. that been going? Uh, we've played quite a few live, even some that aren't out. We just decided to test. Yeah. And there's a track called Let's Drink, which we played, and we haven't even released it yet. And I remember the first time we played it live, the whole room was just going nuts. Mm -hmm. And we weren't expecting that because, you know, when people don't know the song, you don't expect them to, you know, like to connect with it directly straight away yeah. but that was a really good moment for me I was like okay cool they haven't heard this before and they're loving it so yeah, yeah can't wait yeah. and you've got tour days tour dates lined up already yeah. how are you feeling about that really good uh, we've got an in stores we've got about six shows we're playing at different record stores around the UK and then we have a week or eight days off and then we go on a proper headline tour where we're playing yes. loads of venues and then in January we've also got a couple shows in Manchester and London as well mm -hmm. so yeah it's gonna be really cool it's, it's cool to have stuff to look forward to yeah. and then from there onwards just tour as much as possible mm -hmm. play as many shows as we can what can we expect from these live shows what can we expect James you can expect lots of energy you can expect some sweat and some mosh pits and we always just like to think of them as a place where everyone can just let go enjoy themselves and just and you know just do whatever you want to do really like it's always quite a joyful experience i feel like and um it's a bit of a workout you know yeah. for us and for the crowd so i'm thinking at reading like probably we'll need a break after like three or four songs but we'll we'll see how we get on i think when people come to our shows they're just like up for a wild time in terms yeah. of just completely draining yourself of any anxiety you've got or any kind of pent up anger or whatever but we do it in like a good way like no one's like there to be aggressive with each other or anything like that it's just about having a good time crowd surfing jumping around you know it's, it's what it's what I, that's what i'd want to do if i was in the crowd so <laughs> who needs a gym membership just come to a show yeah yeah it's a full body workout guys and we've got a dvd coming out um in about two months time you know right. how to get a four pack <laughs> um, you know correct your spine things like that you know all sorted <laughs> so i've also got to ask um about the matty tweet and i'm sure everyone has been oh, yeah, asking yeah. you worked or produced a song um, back in the day yeah drive him. like i do so yeah. um, i used to go to the same skate park as the guys because we all we all met basically at the skate park. Um, Andy, our guitarist, went to school with Matt and Adam and George and Ross. Um, I'd always end up hanging out at their school, even though I didn't go there. And um, from that point on, we all kind of got to know each other. And 
they would come over and we'd work on some songs together, which was really fun. And I was maybe 16, 17. Oh so, my goodness. And, you know, so were they. And it was just a load of fun. And we'd, you know, go to the same house parties and see each other around town. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was really nice for Matt to tweet that old memory yeah. for us. It was, you know, it was a, it's a great time being young and just being free and not having anything to worry about except for skating. Could we possibly see a 20 year anniversary working together again? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, Matt. You know, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's like produce some Drive Like I Do stuff, you know. I've got my chops up now. I've been mixing and producing bands now for like nearly 10 years. Let's go Solid. for it, yeah. <laughs> so, as well, looking forward to the rest of the year for you guys. You've got the tour dates, you've got the album dropping. Anything else coming up we should know about? Once the album's out and the tour dates are on the way, um, there's nothing really more in the pipeline except for writing a lot more material mm -hmm. you know the best time for us to write is when we feel like there's no pressure on us mm -hmm. to write or to expect the next album yeah. or whatever so i think it's just healthy to kind of write as we go instead of wait two years tour this album and then go oh no we've got to write a new album or we want to write a new album and rush it or anything like that um yeah that's right. about it really you know, enough just, to keep you busy there though yeah we're going to be really busy if, if it's anything like the first album we're going to be on the road for a while and when we're not on the road we're going to be writing or doing you know something creative uh, we all have other creative outlets as well as Spring King so you know th there's so many ways to keep busy yeah <laughs> excellent well thank you so much for your time today thanks for having I'm us. sure we'll see a lot of you for the next few weeks thank you very much